Howdy folks, Brett here. The primary reason for making this video is the crazy high prices for RAM right now. One of the main causes for this is the high demand from AI data servers jacking up the prices. For example, to get this memory, it's now a whopping $400. Looking at this price history chart, in mid to late September, it was only around $110. Now it's nearly $300 higher in price in just three months. So if you're running a Windows PC and don't want to pay the insane prices to upgrade your PC, I'll show you the various ways to make it faster for free. First and foremost, you should update Windows and the optional driver updates. Doing this will often include fixes and performance improvements. To do this, open the settings app. If you're new to Windows, one way to open it is to right click the start button in the taskbar and select it. You can also open it with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I key. In the left pane here at the bottom, select Windows Update. If you see an update here, install it. If not, click on check for updates. If you get the status that you're up to date and you've already installed the updates, I want you to go to More Options and select Advanced Options. In Additional Options, select Optional Updates. Click into Driver Updates and check the boxes next to all the updates listed. When you're done with that, click on Download and Install. When you buy a new Windows PC, the manufacturer likely included a ton of programs that are often unnecessary, sometimes known as crapware. To uninstall these programs or the ones you installed that you no longer use in settings, select apps here on the left. Then here on the right, select installed apps. Now go through your entire list of programs and uninstall them. My list is mostly cleared out, but I found one here to get rid of. To delete it from your system, click the three dots here on the right and select uninstall. Then click uninstall again. Do this for all the programs you don't want or need. If your PC needs a boost in performance, changing to a higher performance plan can help. To do this, go to search in the taskbar and type control panel. Select it. In view by, make sure that category is selected. Click on system and security. Select power options. Depending on the manufacturer of your PC, you may see different plans. To see all that are available, click show additional plans. I have ultimate performance here listed twice. In a recent video, I showed how to enable this plan and forgot to remove one of them. If your power plan is set to power saver, balanced, or something equivalent, switch it to a plan more focused on performance, like high performance, ultimate performance, or something similar that you have in your plans. In this case, I'll just go with high performance. While we're here in the control panel, system and security, power options, to have your PC boot up faster, you should turn on fast startup. Instead of shutting down your PC completely, it saves part of the system to the storage drive when you shut down. So when your PC starts up, it loads from the save state faster. Here on the left, select choose what the power buttons do. Click on change settings that are currently unavailable here at the top. Click to tick the checkbox next to turn on fast startup. Then click on save changes. I recently did this on a laptop that's a couple years old without fast startup turned on and it took around 30 seconds to get to the lock screen. With fast startup turned on, it was around 12 seconds, which is a big difference. Windows has visual effects like shadows, animations, transparency, and other effects to make the operating system more visually appealing. Especially on low end PCs, these can have an impact on performance. To optimize these effects, go to search and type performance. Select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. The default here is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Selecting Adjust for Best Appearance will tick all the boxes and use more system resources. Adjust for Best Performance will untick all the boxes and free up more resources. 
but on certain displays, this will make Windows look absolutely awful. If that's the case for your display, you're better off choosing custom. Then manually go through the specific effects that you want enabled or disabled. This will be more of a trial and error thing to see what works best for you. If you haven't shut down or restarted your PC in an extended period of time, let's say two to three days or longer, you should do so. Shutting down or restarting will clear the data in memory and close background processes, resolving common performance issues. In the taskbar, click on the start button, then click on the power button and select shut down or restart. Doing this will ensure that all data is cleared in memory and that all background processes and apps that we're running are closed as well. Removing those files you no longer need, taking up space on your drive, could give your PC a slight speed boost, especially if 70% or more of your drive is being used up. The Microsoft PC Manager program I've shown in the past does this well, but to remove the temporary files manually in the Settings app, here on the left, select System. Then here on the right, select Storage. Down here in Storage Management, if you enable Storage Sense, it automatically frees up space, deletes temporary files, and manages locally available cloud content. But to manually clear out the temporary files, click on Temporary Files. Check the box next to all of those that you want to get rid of. As you can see here, I have Temporary Files checked, Windows Update Cleanup, Thumbnails, and scrolling down here, Microsoft Defender Antivirus, Device Driver Packages, Delivery Optimization Files, and there's some others here. Let's go back to the top. Once you have those boxes checked, click on Remove Files. This will let you know that the selected files and their data will be permanently deleted. Click on Continue. And you'll see the bar here at the top, letting you know what it's doing. Depending on how long it's been since you've done this, this could take a while to complete. And when it's done, it'll say Finished Temporary Files Cleanup. Those programs that automatically start up when you launch your computer can have a negative impact on overall performance. To improve your boot times and free up resources once your PC is fully launched, right click anywhere in an empty space on the taskbar and select Task Manager. In the left pane, click on Startup Apps. When you click on Status, you can filter by what is enabled or disabled. To disable any program at startup, select it then click on Disable here at the top. I'll do a couple more here, Spotify and Microsoft Teams. Only disable those programs you're absolutely sure that you know you won't need when your computer boots up. We started this video with updating Windows and updating drivers to fix bugs and performance issues. There are times that Microsoft does release a crappy update that can have a negative impact on performance. Thankfully, you may be able to roll back that update. In Settings, select System in the left pane. Then here on the right, scroll down and select Recovery. In Recovery Options, you'll see Go Back is grayed out. If it's been within 10 days since the last Windows update, you'll have the option here to click Go Back, which will revert your PC back to the previous updated version of Windows before the update screwed things up. I'll point this out real quickly. When it comes to performance issues, you can reinstall your current version of Windows by selecting Reinstall Now, which could fix your problems you're having with Windows. Doing this will retain your app's files and settings. As a last ditch effort above that, you can also reset your PC back to when it was new, but you will lose all of your files, apps, and settings. And if you choose this option, it's recommended that you back up your data to an external drive prior to doing this. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you have tips for Windows users to make their PC faster, let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.